All right, you guys, pose for day one is crow pose. So if you saw my previous video, that was the how-to uh, warm up, basically. So just to get everything nice and primed. So I definitely recommend doing that first or at least spending, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 minutes just getting your shoulders loosened up, getting your hamstrings loosened up, um, and getting your wrists and core warmed up as well. So I'm going to hop right into it. So for our crow pose, we, once again, want to make sure we're nice and deeply folded. So I recommend bringing your hands to your hips. Take a deep breath and lift up out of your spine. As you exhale, really stick your booty back, fold deeply. And you want to really feel your belly press against your thighs and place your hands down in front of your body. Notice I'm reaching forward a little bit and I want to do this because it helps me travel forward. Yeah, so spread your fingers, thumbs are tucked slightly in, hands are shoulder distance or maybe a little bit wider. Now come forward with your body weight, start to transfer. Notice I have a block in front of me. This is totally optional, but if you do have a block at home, it's a nice, um, it's a nice little like boundary, you know, you're trying to aim for it. So I'm about, I don't know, maybe 10 inches behind it. So transfer forward, lift your butt up as high as you can, like a stink bug, way up in the air. Come up onto your tippy toes. It's okay if your knees are super bent. Now a lot of people really bring their elbows out to the side really wide and do this, and that's okay. This is a great way to just practice getting your feet off the ground. Notice you lean forward so far that your feet just lift. However, we want to try to keep our booty up a little bit more because eventually this progression can lead us into a handstand. So once again, weight in the hands, lift your hips, tippy toes, shift forward, shift forward, shift forward. Compress your thighs into your belly and start to bend your knees. My knees are pointing forward and I'm going to try to get them close to my armpits and the back of my triceps. And then I'm going to start to bend my elbows looking forward and leaning forward, looking towards that block. Now I'm gonna lean forward so far, maybe putting my head down on the block, that my feet just flow up, and then I'm really gonna drive my heels towards my glutes, and then I can really grip into my fingertips, and maybe lift my head off the block, looking forward, leaning forward, gripping, 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 and then when you come down, come down nice and slow. If you're wearing a sweater, it's a little slippery, um, but if you are bare skin, it can hurt the back of your arms a little bit more. So let's try that one more time, putting it all together. Spread the fingers, shift forward, weight on the tippy toes, trying to take as much weight out of the feet as possible, bending the knees, pressing the kneecaps into the back of the triceps, looking forward, leaning forward, bending the arms, creating a strong shelf, looking towards that block until your feet just naturally flow up. And then maybe you can push the floor away, lifting up through your belly button, breathe, and lower down nice and soft. Finish with a forward fold, relax your neck, shake it out. All right, you guys, post your pictures. Show me what your crow pose looks like and make sure that you hashtag Corona Away Yoga Challenge. That's how I'll be looking up all of your posts and tracking everyone's progress. Also, um, I'll be giving shout outs to people on my story. So if you post on Instagram and tag me and do the hashtag, I will repost your stuff onto my story and give you a little shout out. Um, and yeah, share with your friends. It's okay if people start the challenge late. This will take us all the way to the end of March, which is when, fingers crossed, businesses reopen and things go back to normal in April. But it might be longer than that, in which case I'll probably do another yoga challenge. So yeah, please join my Patreon, like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Move with BK, and follow me on Instagram at BK Aerialist. Thank you guys so much for watching. Safe practicing. Have a good day.